Hi, I'm Nayid Ansari and in this video I'm gonna show you some cool tips and tricks about Niagara system and along the way we will create this cool effect, right? So there is a rain of arrow that has collision, right? So mostly we will talk about collision, how you can use collision to create some things like this. So without any further ado, let's begin. So in here you can see this tutorial, you can see it on YouTube, some channel did it and I decided to do it as well. But I will do it from scratch, where you can download this arrow, how you can convert it so you can use it in your Unreal Engine and how you can use collision in Niagara system so you can have this cool effect, right? But before we start, please, 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 if you want to help me hit that like button thank you very much so let's begin first of all let's just delete this one because i want to create it from the scratch right and in here i want to create a new folder for our arrows okay all the thing that we need for our arrow will be in this folder first thing that we need is a, a static mesh to use it with niagara emitter right so let's just create a niagara system first create an empty one because it's for teaching purposes we shouldn't start from anything it should be from scratch right and as for system and i want to call it arrow or whatever you want to call it i'll click on it to open it let's just dock it over here so we can see it clearly right click in here add an emitter and in here again i want to click empty because i want it an empty one right at default it is a sprite render we want to use a mesh renderer we did talk about mesh render so no we're gonna use that mesh renderer to create that cool effect right so let's just save and go to internet and in here i want to search for arrow 3d model free download because we want it to be free right so let's just open up the one that is in turbo squad there is a lot of them in cg trader you can download in free 3d there is a lot of them in a sketch file you always can find a free one right so let's just use this one the one that i used in my example let's just click on it and in here click on free download to download it it should wait for 20 seconds to be able to download it i did download these two files one of them is fbx and one of them is for blend if you don't have blender blender is a free software okay why you shouldn't have that and if you don't have blender just download the fbx one let's just first go with this blend right click extract it and in here you can see there is a blend file and there are some textures so we should create a material for that double click on this to open it to in blender now you can see this arrow in here it is beautiful right so the first tip about exporting something into unreal engine is that the zero zero location of this blender work is the pivot point in unreal engine so if we export this to Unreal Engine, the pivot point will be here, but we don't want to. We don't want that. The pivot point we want it to be at the tip. So how we can change the pivot point? You can see there is a 3D cursor here, and there is a pivot point in here as well. But that's not important for Unreal Engine. The important thing is the zero zero location of this board in Blender. So whatever you put in zero zero will be the pivot point in Unreal Engine. And the next important thing is that the X, you can see the X is this red line in here. The X always is the forward direction in Unreal Engine. So for example, if we rotate this, hit one on your keyboard so you can see it in, in just uh, X and Z, okay? And in here, if we hit R, we can rotate it like this. And because we want to use this arrow, okay, it should be aligned toward the X, the positive X, because the positive X is the forward vector. So that is the most important. First thing, the pivot point, and next, the X, that is the forward vector, right? So let's again hit one so we can see it this way. Hold shift and with the middle mouse, you can grab your scene like this and click on it, hit G to grab it and hit X to move it along the X axis and put the tip of the arrow in the zero zero location roughly that's cool enough right so no the pivot point in Unreal engine will be this point in here and uh, because the tip of this arrow is al aligned toward the positive x it the forward ve vector will work fine in Unreal engine so now that we have this arrow let's just go to file export fbx okay and let's just put it on desktop I want to call it arrow export and you don't need to anything else you can just close this and you don't need to save it because you have the fbx right so now let's just import it in our unreal engine right click in here import and i save it in desktop we call it arrow and in here the most important one click on this advanced and make sure that this transform vertex to absolute is checked okay after that just click import and close this go to content drawer again and you can see by default it creates material for us and if we open up the material you can see it's cool it's working fine right 
but I think one of them is not here. You can see we have the base, we have the metallic, and we have the normals. But in here, we have roughness as well, and it didn't add it by default. So for adding it, let's just go to our content drawer, and in here, you can see we have roughness, we have normal, and we have the base color. Now let's just add the one that it didn't add. So in here, we have this, we have this, and we have this, but we don't have this metallic, okay? Head open, no, we have all of them. Let's just add it to our material like this. So you can see this arrow metallic, this one should be connected to metallic, okay? So it didn't import it correctly, okay? So now that we have this, this is for roughness, I think. So let's just connect it to the roughness and let's see that if it's roughness, yeah. And this is for normal and the normal is okay. Everything is cool and if you wanna see it in here as well, click on your arrow and go to your preview panel in here, click on this icon and now you can see your arrow, right? It's working fine, it's cool. So now we have our material, let's just save it. And now that we save it, let's just name it, okay? Right click on it and rename it to m for arrow okay so this one is a static mesh so let's just have head f2 in here sm for a static mesh and that's a cool name let's just double click on a static mesh in here and if you go to show and in here click uh, show the pivot, pivot point okay you can see the pivot point is at the tip of the arrow and this is how it should be right so everything is cool and all so let's just close this and now in mesh renderer we can add this arrow in here so let's just collapse everything so you can see it clearly and in mesh rendering in here go to mesh and in here choose the arrow okay let's search for arrow sm arrow and no it is okay and we can spawn our arrow so first thing to do in here we want to spawn something and let me show you how we can come up with, with an idea in no track okay? so we wanted to arrow start from a point so for example let's say a thousand enemy staying somewhere okay so this thousand enemy is in here thousand of them in is in here and they want to shoot an arrow right so they shoot it on the sky so we need a velocity okay and when they are shooting it in the sky it will go up let me show you in here it will go up and if we don't add a gravity to these arrows it will just go up and up and up okay so when we add an arrow it will go down like this okay that is all we need to do we should uh, spawn our arrows in a box for example in a plane and we should sh add a velocity to it so it would it would go up and after that we add some gravity so they go down right so that's all we need to do so let's just go here and i want to use a spawn burst instantaneous okay let's just put 100 in here it, there is 100 of them on each other to each other because we didn't add any velocity right so next, let's just go to initialize particle. I want to change the lifetime to 10 so we can see it clearly. We don't want to set anything in here. That's good. So what we can, after this, let's just choose a shape to spawn all of these arrows, right? So let's just click in here, search for shape and choose shape location. Just you can decide what the sh what shape you want to use. What shape? Just click in here. If you want to use cylind a sphere, cylinder, box plane, torus, ring, disc, or cone. Okay? Which one do you think we should use? The one that you can use is either the box or plane. If your enemy has a uh, different height, you can just use box and randomize it, right? But let's just use plane, okay? And at default, it is box, so let's just choose plane. And you can see it's it's doing it like this. You can see the plane size has an X and Y. So for now, we don't need to do anything about it because when we add velocity, they will go up. But the plane is working fine. The shape plane is working fine. Now let's just add velocity and you can see what I mean. In add velocity, let's just fix issue so it add solve force at default you can see all of them goes up but i don't want to do that i want to randomize the velocity so click in here and choose random range vector for the x i want to use something for example 250 to 450 okay you can see it clearly let's just decrease this so you can see it better and next i want to change the y as well to something like minus 100 and 100 and i think that's cool the next thing that i want to change is the z so they should go up right i want to change it to 200 to 400 just choose something between them 
right now you can see the orientation of our arrow is not right so what we can do about that for that i want to go to particle update and search for orientation what comes to mind right so update orientation and in here what i want to choose just click the click on this orientation method in here and choose flight orientation okay and now you can see the orientation of our arrow is okay they are going up and up and up and the velocity is randomized and everything is okay right everything is cool so now let's just add gravity just search for gravity in here gravity force and you can see it it's cool right you can see it's the arrow flying but it's not flying far right so we should increase the velocity just click on this velocity we can change this value but i don't want to change those value i want to just change the scale speed in here velocity speed scale so i want to multiply all of this by three for example so you can see they go far <laughs> everything is cool so now let's just add it to our level so for adding it to our level i just create this level and uh maximum just change the scale of this plane and delete everything okay so now let's just add our system here you can see this x is the forward vector so that is important let's just bring it here like this a little bit to the right and let's see if they hit the plane or not yeah it, i think this is a good position and uh, everything is working fine so let's just go here and add a collision so when they go up and collide with our plane they stop there right so for doing that let's just add a collision like this we did we, we, we did talk about collision a little bit in video about light renderer but in here we will talk about it more just add this collision the most important thing in here let's just collapse everything so i can talk about the most important ones the first one is this collision radius and i want to change it to mesh okay and that's it for this one let's just go to bouncy so this value decide the bounciness so if we save it and go here you can see when they collide with this plane they will bounce back right so we don't want that we don't want to have that so let's just make it zero we don't want any um bounciness okay let's just save it and see what will happen so they will collide over it right let, let let's see it again they will collide so the next thing in this friction i want to increase this friction so they will stuck in the ground right so let's just change it to 10 for example for both of them the friction and friction during a bounce so we'll save it and now if you go here you can see the arrow is going through our plane okay everything is cool so no let's just get crazy with that okay in here let's just go to a spawn burst instantaneous and increase it for example to 1000 save it to see it here everything is cool they they have collision with each other as well okay everything is cool everything is beautiful let's just get even more crazy with that add two zero to here let's just save it go to over and you can see it. uh the fps is dropping like bad so that was it guys for this video i hope you like it please 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 if you want to help me hit that like button and subscribe to my channel it's my honor to have you here thank you very much for watching bye